Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Cameron Landfield. Happy Friday, Western Oregon. We have made it to the weekend and it's looking a lot like yesterday. Might see a little bit better conditions though. Here's a look out at Coos Bay to show you where it's going to be best for today. Now you can't see much out there right now, but if you could, you'd notice a lack of cloud coverage. We've got some pretty good offshore wind just along the coast right now, and that's going to keep things actually pretty sunny all day out on the coast. So it's going to be looking beautiful out there, but then we'll pop on over here to Holly Square, and this is in Eugene. You can see there's a bit of fog already descending right now and we had some mist this morning too. So those roads are pretty wet to start things off and it doesn't look like we're going to see much of those low clouds blowing out of the way either. So it's going to look a lot like yesterday, just a lot of gray skies. Now, once again, we are under the effects of this California low, but it could end up bringing us some different conditions depending on the movement that we see as it pushes through the rest of the day. Now, yesterday, I expected for this low to push a little bit further into the east and that would end up wrapping around more heavy east winds into our area and that would help with some of these low clouds hanging on out. But it looks like that could be happening today. Of course, we still do have this blocking pattern as well, which is the low with the high pressure above that here in the ridge. And that's part of why we have all of these foggy skies and low clouds that stick around. There's a really strong inversion in the lower elevations right now. So in the valley, in those deepest points, we see all of that getting stuck down to the ground. But depending on the way this moves, we could end up with that eastward shift in the winds for today, and that would blow things out. The stormcast does seem to show that. Clicking forward into 7 a.m. here, of course, we still have the low clouds sticking around into 9. Then by 1 o'clock, it looks like most places are going to be seeing sunshine before we do see rain picking up into tomorrow. Now, like I said, depending on what goes on with these east winds, if they pick up like it looks like they will, we could end up seeing some of that sunshine, but potentially we're going to have another day like tomorrow. We'll just have to see. Now for the seven day forecast, again, you'll see rainfall starting up tomorrow into Sunday. It's going to be really windy Saturday evening into Sunday. And then next week looks pretty low activity in pretty much every area. Same thing goes on for the Umpqua Basin. Sitting near those low 60s for the next couple days and then dropping back down into Monday where we get a bit of a cold front come through Sunday. Same thing for the Cascades, except we're going to end up with snowfall on Sunday. In fact, there's a winter weather advisory going from Saturday evening into Sunday because all that snow starts to accumulate below the pass level. So it's going to be hard to move over there. Willamette Valley showing you the same thing. Going to see some rainfall starting up tomorrow all the way through Sunday, and then those temperatures drop off Monday. Start to kind of recover by Tuesday and Wednesday, though.